one. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the MBS show. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and I'm joined today with. <laughs> carry on, carry on. I can leave this in. Are you serious? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> So my name is Norman Sanzo, and I've turned into girl. <laughs> we can't tell the difference. I'll be honest with you. No, definitely. So I'm joined today with Kyle. Hey, how you doing, Norman? <laughs> with the row. Hello, happy people. <laughs> it was not in the script that the show was being hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, if you're hijacking something, generally it's not going to be in the script. Yeah. Ah, come on, we can be more organized than that. <laughs> and the real Norman Sanzo. Hello, I'm Poppy Slosh. Ooh, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> to be like honest, I said, this was not in the script. We were not. Well, at least I was not ready for that. You think I was? <laughs> I don't know. To be honest, I wanted to do this for about a year. Longer than a year. Yeah, yeah. I've wanted to do this longer than... F- yeah, a, a year and a half. Congratulations, you hijacked the show. Uh, you know it's what? mine now. You know what? Now I'm interested. Why don't you do it? I'm just going to sit back and relax. Oh, you should not let me do this, especially since I'm uh, I'm ill. And oh, my brain is... She's ill. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, but anyway, how is everyone? I'm crying <laughs> eternally. Yes, I'm crying on the inside because I saw the movie Sin City. Oh, why are you crying uh, on the inside? I thought that, that was... movie hit me in the feels, man. Really? Right in the feels, especially the one with Marv. Why? <laughs> All right, why? Then. So, how was your week, man? Like, what you've been doing besides watching um, Sin City? Uh, I watched. Actually, that was no. Hey, I watched Four Rooms. I watched Sin City. That was also a beautiful movie. I started drawing pinups again. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> I was kind of going for a PG friendly streak, and then suddenly, just one day, just decided to break it. On one hand, that was that was kind of a cool move. I did earn quite a few followers, and I kind of sort of waiting for a commission on the pinup. At the same time, I feel like I was doing so nice, <laughs> parental <laughs> friendly, and suddenly this. I mean, it's not that it's a bad thing, but it's kind of, I don't know. It was, I broke a combo. That's the only thing I'm upset, but at the same time, I'm happy. I don't know. I have mixed feelings, and I'm blabbering, so continue on. Alrighty then. Kyle, how are you doing, and how was your week? Uh, my week hasn't been uh, too bad. I, I've been uh, just uh, busy trying to publicize the fact that Creative Vibes is now back on air, so it's been the usual posting links everywhere and uh, plugging myself, as, uh, as uh, you would remind me to do, usually. Alrighty then, so you can also plug your show here if you want to. Of course, yes, uh, Midnight Squares Creative Vibes, the first episode of the season two is out now on the Helm Bronies channel. Yay. With yours truly. <laughs> Yay. I'll be sure to put a link into the show notes, as per usual. Merci beaucoup. I'm also not an artist that, no. And our guest host, oh, hijacker for this week is, well. <laughs> uh, thank you? you, thank you. I, I'm just give, I'm just gonna give thank yous for actually making me be able to do one of my dreams from, um, a year and a half ago. Is that how long you've wanted to hijack the show for? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we could have done that so much earlier, Puffy. We could have, we did that like the other week, me and Sugar Dove. We actually nicked the MBS show for about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It's the dream. You can do this more often. We can make this happen. We can nah. rule the galaxy. Nah, my if I had a podcast, it would be about anime. Because one of my friends asked me to uh, to give him a list of like animes he should watch. From the top of my head, I gave him a list of forty five animes. Just forty five. Yeah, just forty five. See, someone understands me. <laughs> but I'm I'm good. Um. To be honest, I am going to start from the start of the year because I've ever since the start of the year I've had this I've had the bucket list in my head of the things that I've, I've always wanted to do in life. One of them is also hijack um, the NBS show, which apparently I did. Not really um, well, though. <laughs> you're not hosting, so yeah, you're not doing it too well. But yay! I just wanted to do the start, okay? Yeah. 
Because it's your show. It's your show. I like it because it's your show. Next on the list is I want to try to hijack the news time. <laughs> and, nah. then, and then the ending, yes. Nah. I'll probably hijack um, the, uh, the Midnight Scribes. <laughs> oh, oh. With my art and the oh, skills. Yes. Oh, definitely. No, I mean, it, the art it has been still in the show. I mean, it, I love the artwork that you and everyone else in the art team have been doing. Because the thing is, I don't get to see it. That's the thing. Like, every, like the art team do all the, the art. And Sugartop sees it. I don't get to see it until the episode comes out. And I go like, oh, that's nice. I mean, on a rare occasion, like, I will be permitted permission to have a look at one of them. Oh, wow. But rare occasion not. So I always, to me, it's always a highlight when I see a new episode up of myself and seeing the art that's been done and seeing what what yourself and um, Kick and everyone else have been doing with the art. It's fantastic. Yeah. Shout out to all of the artists. Uh, Sunny Pony Citrus Bowl. kick King. Uh, James is also helping out. He hasn't talked much, but eh, it's going to be fine. He's probably going to draw something. Um, then there's also Cat Cool Draws, myself, um, and Steph Fee. Yeah, look at cat. Yeah, look at cat. Thank you. I you should not let me, let me think cuz I'm ill. I'm very ill right now. Oh, you you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, At don't worry. It'll <laughs> At... be fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh... At least I got to do uh, a few things of uh of my life goals. So, thank you for that. No problem. Uh just at the cost of this show. <laughs> but anyway, Good to know that you guys are having fun and your life bucket list has been lesser by one. Yay. So That's more than one for you, but you know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, have you guys ever tried describing this fandom to someone you don't know or someone you know? I do I it every to... day. <laughs> I, I I go to school. Mm. Everybody asks me, uh, asks me, what uh what is the brony fandom wait do you call yourself brony or um or brownie i'm like brony do, do i look like food thank you <laughs> well, well i know i have a sweet something but you know that's only for me what about you Ro? no i'll try to explain it to my mother once what happened no. i just said well that's relatively simple mother there's this group of people and they like horses. Magical horses. <laughs> colorful horses with horns and wings and rainbows and <laughs> glitter. I'm so glad you added the rest of that on, because my, I just thought if you just ended that there, that would have been a horrendous explanation. <laughs> We'd have been like calling like the RSPCA down to try and sort it out. Just like, this is not allowed. You're, you, these are people who like horses. You know, this isn't Equicius. We're not Daniel Radcliffe getting naked on the stage. <laughs> wow, no. Funny enough, I don't like horses. Okay, yeah, the vast majority I... of people like horses. <laughs> It's like I like riding the horses, but personally, I don't like the horse uh, horses as animals. Mm-hmm. I prefer donkeys. <laughs> oh, really? Because donkeys okay. are adorable. Oh. Have you seen a donkey's face? It's so cute. Well, personally, no. And Kyle, you? Yes, I have. Uh, well, a few times. I mean, the one that hit me recently was that I had to try and explain it to my dad, which um, was a bit of an interesting experience because it's like the first time properly where I've had to actually delve into the show and mention like oh so they live in a place called Equestria and there's also Manhattan and like you, you can feel your and you're explaining all these puns to him and it's like and he loves the fact that I'm kind of squirming in this year imagine what he's thinking that I'm thinking <laughs> about him so it's just like this huge meta scene where I'm going like and the characters are Applejack Rainbow Dash, and then I know I've got to see Pinkie Pie at some point. <laughs> it's just like trying oh, to get I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put her last. I'm gonna put her last. I'm not gonna say her name. <laughs> it was really funny explaining that, and he's, you know, totally sound of it. It was just a quite funny, um, trying to explain it, particularly when usually when we talk about it, we're talking about it with people who share the same interest. <laughs> well, recently, uh, Patton Oswald, the comedian, uh, went on the Conan show, something like that I think it was called Conan. And oh yeah, he was talking to him about. Well, they were talking about Star Wars. Like, um, did Patton Oswalt brought his daughter to the movies, and he told them that nah, her daughter didn't really enjoy Episode Four that much. It was like, okay, I seen it, and yeah. And by the way, she's about five or six, something like that. All right. 
she, on the other hand, is a big fan of My Little Pony. And yeah, we all know what My Little Pony is and all that good stuff. And Patton Oswald here was just talking like, okay, so like I've been, I've done my time. I've done my time. He's been doing Star Wars thing. Like he knows everything about the Star Wars. So with the whole pony thing, yeah, I I can get in. And he starts describing locations, names, characters, the plot synopsis and everything. Like, oh my god. The way he told it was just priceless. And you guys should see the video. It's just so much fun. And that is his way of describing the show to the mass audience, which is really cool and awesome. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's great seeing someone just talking about it on a, you know, a, a, a late night talk show. I mean, uh, Conan, I mean, has anyone here watched Conan? Like, is anyone familiar with Conan O'Brien? One or two. Uh, I would know Conan the Barbarian. Does that count? No. I think I've heard of the comedian, to be honest. Yeah. He does a few things, and the way that, uh, Patton Oswald just describes it is just priceless. It's just so much fun. Like you guys mentioned, uh, you try to explain it to non-fans or people who are just interested in knowing. And well, I, I just, I would just say just follow Patton's thing and talk about the show in general, like what you like about it and whatnot. It's really fun. I mean, it just depends on uh, how you want to tackle it. I mean, the thing is, you could just say that it's a show about friendship and it's about, you know, talking about the virtues of it. That kind of encapsulates it in of itself and ways of talking about it. I mean, it's a great show and it is, for the most part, well written. And I've heard there's bits about season five, which, by the way, I still haven't watched. I need to, so feel free to bug me on that until I get there. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, by and large, it is a well written show and it's, and it's done well. So, you know, it's not like we're watching the ugly Martians. <laughs> Uh, but there's probably still fans of that show too. Yeah, but still, there's still. Funny enough, I actually learned about friendship, uh, through that show, cause, um, well, technically I relearned lessons that I already knew, but I had forgotten. Cause, um, actually when I was little, um, I didn't have all that many friends, so I really didn't know what friendship was. And till I saw the show and I was like, wow, I'm relearning so much, so much about this. And I've actually changed for better because of that show. Yeah, that's the thing about the show. It's it's kind of cheesy when you think about it. It's relearning or teaching things about friendship. And we already do know about friendship. Like, we've been doing it for how many years now? But sometimes people just forget about all those good virtues. And a refresher course is always nice. Oh, definitely. Oh, sorry. Sorry, though. No, go on. I said what I wanted to say. No, no, you go. I already said yes, I agree. Moving on. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what I was going to say anyway, so I suppose that's... Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are so adorable. <clears throat> Aww. Shipping! Yes. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Rob, uh, this is the this... internet. I bet at least someone sorry, thought of the thing sorry, that I did. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are you... Are you suggesting that there is actually going to be fan art of me and Rue? <laughs> I can draw it if you want. Oh, well, I just... Well, listen, hang on, Rue, you're in no... Bus- <laughs> you're in no... Rue, Ru, you're in no position to criticise. You made me your waifu husbando for several weeks. You you started this. Oh, wow. And another note. Uh, exploring... Kerstras, that seems to be the new theme for season six. Spoiler. Yeah, I'm not sure if it is. Ah, for me, that's it not is. a spoiler. I'm very, 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 very sensitive about everything. It's like I want to go in without nothing. Literally nothing. Oh. All right, all right. It's like going to the mall and like not expecting to see a pair of jeans or a sail. Yeah. Like, oh my god, this mall is terrible. <laughs> I yeah. did not expect he, I did not expect to see so many stores and sales here. I was I don't know what I wanted here, but definitely not this. <laughs> Girl, seriously. Okay. I okay. I am like that. Shush. All right, all right. Stop fighting you two. Stop fighting. But anyway, I'm um, not fighting. He's strong. He's bringing this upon himself. Excuse you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Debbie. <baby. laughs> uh, but anyway. <laughs> Not really. Uh, but anyway, with season six on the horizon, we still got no clue what's coming out. But there was a few pictures that, I won't say it leaked, but Hasbro kind of previewed a bit. And they're up there, and I'm not going to describe what they are and whatnot. But 
I'm just going to mention the toy expansion that they have for the new lineup. And as everyone knows, uh, the show is just a platform to sell toys. True. Mm -hmm. And the next set of toys are, well, they're saying it's Explore Equestria. So I'm guessing it's going to be all those rides that Hasbro wanted to sell but couldn't back in the days. Like, remember the Pinkie Pie truck? Was it the Applejack truck? Monster truck? No idea. Yeah, I think it's the farmer truck or whatever it is. And then the train set and then the helicopter. And now I think they're expanding on that idea. Probably we'll get ponies on motorcycles. Can we just mention the um, this, the swan boat? Mm-hmm. It's oh, yeah. so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, but sure. I mean, if you're gonna, if you don't mind, because you're the one that's sensitive to spoilers. So yeah, uh, one of the first few pictures that um, Hasbro kind of previewed was Pinkie Pie in a swan boat while Mod Pie was there. And who was it? Was it Twilight or Rainbow Dash? Rainbow, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, they were up in the picture and just I don't know. It could be just derping. Oh wow, the swan bird is so beautiful. I, I never saw this. I was talking about the toy, but okay, wow, this is really cool. I think the toy version is much cuter, but as per usual. <laughs> well, the toy version, yeah, it's cuter, but, um, the, the, the teaser thing, right, um, or whatever that is, I, I seriously don't know. It's more glamorous <laughs> and really, really ladylike, I'd say. Mm. And, that is what technically swans are. But in the toy, it's kind of like Simple. a swan to- a toy, which is, to, to, to be fe- perfectly honest, I thought it was a dog, but you know. No, but honestly speaking here, the toy from what I see, if it were me if and if I had the time, I would just recolor this and put in more details on the toy because you see that trimming on the side of the swan there. You could do some coloring and then you know what? I'm just talking about Gundam right now. So yeah, <laughs> modification. It's been there before. <clears throat> but yeah, so the new team for the season six is probably going to be Explore Equestria. So that's going to be fun. What do you guys think, man? Uh, I Rose? want to see Saddle Arabia. Saddle Arabia? I don't think that's part of Equestria. But it is. Yes, it is. Really? Remember yeah. that episode where... Wait, what episode was it? Uh, it was uh, about... Tri- yeah, Rainbow Trixie Dash one. and the... No, no, not the tri- Was it the Trixie? Yeah, it was the Trixie one where Trixie came back with a, this magical amulet thingamajig and challenged no, Twilight that to was... a duel. Yeah, that was the one. That was the one. Yeah, really? and then in the end, they kind of like uh, settled their difference and then there was this fireworks and Trixie did the fireworks and then they kind of banished into the night. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. And there were, uh, yeah, before, uh, during the fireworks, there was Celestia with these really cool Arabian looking horses. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Saddle Arabia right there. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Well, if you want to count it as part of it, yes. So, I'm looking on the website and, yeah, there seems to be a lot of things upcoming. But before I go through that, what do you guys think? Like, uh, Ro gave your statement. What about you, Kyle? Well, I'll be curious to see. I mean, it's um, because of the fact that obviously I'm still a season behind everyone else. I'm obviously still trying to catch up and see what season five does. But, um, I mean, as far as the concept in terms of exploring Equestria, it seems interesting. I mean, the first time I heard it, I was thinking, are they doing like a travel guide? Is this like, are you planning on visiting the magical land of Equestria? Are you unsure where to take the dive? Well, well let's show you the magical places you can come, like the city of Manhattan. And the magical land of Equestria. And also Sakura's Hat, which is in a forest somewhere. And other places. But only if you book with us. You know, is that's the kind of thing I had stuck in my head. <laughs> I well, would like that. I like the idea of Pinkie Pie opening up a travel agency. And that's the reason it happens. It's I'm just a whole sold. season of them going round. <laughs> I'm sold. But, <laughs> but I'm looking at the map here on the website. It, and if you look at it, they're trying to explore a few from what they posted up here is okay you got the crystal empire cantalot cloud snail ponyville and every forest and also manhattan and the clickable one right now is just manhattan the funny part is if you just click on it they'll do some kind of funny things like a, a review guide of um what they think about manhattan and princess cadence guide is shining armor and i took a trip to manhattan well they we rode the main way visited the mayor square and so ponies from all over Equestria. Four out of five cutie marks. That's the rating system, cutie marks, really? Yes. Uh, Applejack, my recent trip to Manhattan were pretty 
eventful. I first came to this city with my friend to attend a fashion week and cheer for rarity. Before leaving, we we were lucky enough to catch a special showing of Hini of the Hill, and it was fantastic. I also returned with rarity to help Miss Pomel. Oh, they're not calling her Coco Pomel anymore. All right. With the Midsummer Theater revival, three out of five kiwi marks, and there's also rarity. Yeah. So they're going for that concept, which is interesting and whatnot. I, I do like this because they're doing the whole thing that we wanted them to do from the very beginning, which is world building. And they're doing it in season six, which is pretty cool. Definitely. I mean, world building will hopefully, by expanding that kind of background story, it might actually give them a new lease of life in the show and actually come up with more interesting concepts as well for episodes, perhaps, and, and things they can actually do script writing wise that might actually, um, give it more bread for a seven or eight season after the the um the movie gets done mm, true that true that there's still a movie and we got no idea what the movie is about so yeah it's cool horses so um since we have apparently now a map of the question make a map for the equestria girls world i want to see it i want to see it so far <laughs> you know what i agree with that like um qg is pretty fun and all we know is the school, and we do know where a Sugar Cube Corner is. Is it the corner? Yeah. Long and rest. <laughs> yeah. Technically, we also know that um, Crystal Prep. The, the, yeah, Crystal Prep exists. Mm. So technically, that is the whole world. It's like um, Candlelight High, Sugar Cube Corner. Uh, somewhere also that around there is the Rarities Boutique. Mm-hmm. And then somewhere, I think it was um, downtown or the, the center of the city. Probably whatever. the stadium, yeah, yeah. Um, the stadium? The, Remember, was there a... Rainbow Rocks? Rainbow Rocks, there was a stadium there. And then don't forget that uh, we do see the Dazzlers at another cafe. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's pretty expense world. So we just have to wait and see what they do mm, with it. Technically, no. We only know certain locations and that's yeah. it we don't see like roads we only know that the, the crystal prep is mm-hmm. up i think it's north downtown uh, probably i don't think it was downtown i thought it was I, I don't remember but the fact of the matter is that hasbro could expand on the equestria girl universe if they want to but if not fans can write fan fiction and whatever to expand the world the world the thing is, is that fanfics, um, they play on your imagination. You need to imagine it yourself. Mm-hmm. The best way, probably, in my head is uh, for artists to do it, like uh, artists or animators. Oh, true. I agree with that, too. But hey, um, well, I... but it's going to be so much work. And um, let's just leave it for an, uh, to Hasbro for now. Cause, mm, I agree with that. Like, yeah. There's no point in us. Well, I don't say it's no point. I, I'm saying that it's just interesting if you did it but the fear of most people who do all this kind of stuff is that they don't want to do it because Hasbro might change everything that they do and that's why people are yeah. just furious with and they and they might go oh my god my can- uh, head cannon is mm, ruined yeah. and then they go to like a convention and be like why did you ruin my head cannon oh god no uh, <laughs> they, they do do that they do do that but there's no 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 we, the fans, should not complain about hate cannon. <laughs> it hate cannon is just hate cannon. Once it's ruined, we'll just put it alternate universe. Done. But yeah. So, those are the two news for this week. I tried to find more, but, you know, the hiatus is not really helping. And I don't mind talking about the website. Because it's a cool website. That's why I wanted to talk about it. But, we come to the part where I love the most. Which is the email time. Well, we didn't get new any new email from before, but I am going to stick to this one because CRC has been giving us a lot of questions and I think it's rather polite if we answer them. Puff, you want to join in? Oh, uh, yeah. All righty then. So, um, starting from where we left off last week, um, he asked, what is your favorite villain? Um, Ro? Mm, good question. Uh, let's see, if Discord's no longer a villain. Sombra's kind of kaput, I say. Chrysalis. <laughs> Chrysalis is a good one. Chrysalis is a good one. Any reason why? She's pretty. <laughs> yes, she's pretty. Uh, what about you, Kyle? 
Uh, oh, Crikey, I'm not too sure, actually. I don't think I have a particularly a favourite villain as such. I mean, um, because the episodes that I tend to enjoy are those where there isn't necessarily an obvious villain. It's, you know, where it's usually the circumstances or something else that's come up. I mean, I would have said Discord, but as Rose said, he isn't so much a villain right now. I think he's kind of more anti hero well, kind of status. Well, you could just say Discord before he got reformed. So that oh, could definitely. Work. Oh, heck, Discord in general, I think, you know, he still plays pranks on the people and whatnot, and he's definitely got that, he's still got the same sense of humour, and I enjoy that. Mm, true, but he's not destroying the world now. Okay. Yeah, well, not yet. I mean, who knows? I mean, he might he might decide at one point with, like, Fluttershy or something, and just go, would you like to save the animals? Let's destroy the world. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe they'll put them in a playpen or something, build an ark. But anyway, what about you, Puff? This is going to sound weird, mm-hmm. but my favourite villain is actually Discord. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't see anything weird um, with it. No, 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 no. But uh, since uh, since technically I love him just as a character and not really as a villain, even though his villainry is amazing and mm-hmm. hilarious, I would say Chrysalis. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, but the thing is why, uh, why I like Chrysalis as a villain is Pretty much because of a uh, fanfic that is called uh, Mirror's Im- Image, mm-hmm. which I'm still reading. That fanfic shows a different side of Chrysalis, and it's beautiful and magnific- uh, magnificent to see. And I hate that I can't see that kind of a side of Chrysalis anywhere else. But completely villain, villain, it would be Sombra. Sombra, eh? All right. Any reason why? Because I, I, I do have my reasons for saying later on, but I want to hear yours first. Uh, to be honest, Sombra just, um, he looks like a character that is capable of basically putting the world um, under his hoof mm-hmm. and literally being the villain of the villains. Um... I'm trying not to spoil anything because I I'm not sure if uh, if he's coming back again. Uh, Puff, let me just say this: um, read the comics, you'll like it. Uh, you know that I need uh, you you need it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he he looks like a villain that can. Do anything and be the most evil out of all, and he has, he's he has the power, and the power is what makes evil. I can't think. I'm ill. Move on. It's okay. It's okay. As for me, uh, villain is confusing in the Malaloponi universe. I had a well recently. I've been talking with the people in the YouTube chats about. Villains from the recent issue, uh, I think it was issue 20, what now? Give me a second, I think it was issue, the Metal Bologna comic issue 24 and 37, Siege of the Crystal Empires. There was a lot of villain characters in that comic, and one of the few villains that they brought back was Sombra, Chrysalis, Iron Will, Lightning Dust, Flim Flam, and Queen Chrysalis. They had them all there, and they were pretty interesting and awesome villain. And having a combo with that, that was pretty cool. But honestly, in terms of villain that I really hate, that I despise so much, that it put my blood to a boil, is King Longhorn from the My Little Pony comic issue 25. He's the leader of the cattle wrestlers, and he is just despicable. He is just a villain that you want to hate. And I'm not saying... He does a good job It's what he do. You you hate him because he's just pure evil. And there, like... Mm, I hate him. But in terms of lovable villains, I would just say Sombra. Because, well, spoilers, go read the comics or listen to the, our review. Um, he's pretty in-depth. In terms of characteristics, they... They expand his character there. Yes. Go read. You will need to send it to me later. Will do. Will do. Okay, this is a what if. Super spoilers ahead. But what if... Uh, what do you think of Cadence being pregnant with a baby? Hate it. Hate it. Alright. Ro? 
totally okay with that. Totally okay with that. Kyle? I think it'd be interesting. I mean, it's, uh, I don't see why it would be, uh, necessarily a bad idea, provided they don't, uh, turn the new character to some sort of Mary Sue-esque abomination. Yeah, we, we know a Mary Sue. Princess Kyla! Not 100% sure. Mm. I hope not. But I mean, no. we don't need it. We don't need another. Um, oh, what's the name? Of, oh, hang on. This is me going into geek territory here. Um, I I might get the character's name wrong. Wesley Wesley Crusher from oh. Star Trek. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> I love Will Wheaton. Wheaton. I like Will Wheaton, but Wesley Crusher can go and no, do just no, just no. yeah. But <laughs> yeah, so but anyway. The prospect of them having a baby is cool because, hey, you're a married couple and married couples usually have babies, right? To be honest, I am sorry for Cadence. Because the thing is, um, I think we talked about this before and you said that she's a princess. Well, it doesn't matter. She's still a mother and she still will care about her child. And, ooh, it's going to be tough. <laughs> I've been talking to the review crew about this and they say that uh, since Cadence is a princess and all, there's a lot of people who, or a lot of ponies who are willing to step up and babysit or take care of the royal baby because, you know, baby, they just want to because, well, royalty and stuff. But, you know, I would like to see if they do this. I'm not 100% sure if they will, but I would like to see if they portray Cadence as one of those um, clingy mothers where she's, she cannot let go of her child. She must be there 24-7 taking care of the baby. <laughs> you know? You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, um, see, I uh, think it was, um, from the book, mm -hmm. um, of the backstory of what happened to Cadence. I think she might be. But then again, I don't see her as a, uh, her as a motherly character because motherly character is um, basically Celestia and maybe a tiny bit uh, Luna, but definitely not Cadence. Not Cadence yet. is like, uh, C Cadence is literally that pink pony. Well, that probably, pink pony. She, she was made to be that way, but I, I hope that we get to see a lot of more development from this because, well... What can you do to change a character that's stagnant? Well, um, there are several ways, several ways, but I don't think um, the censorship department will pass such things. That yes, was the, the safest one is to make her a mother, and we'll just have to wait and see. Because I have full confidence that the writers at the show know what they're doing. Yep. Um, remember the uh, the uh, the host kick ass king. Mm -hmm. Um, he actually, see, uh, Cadence is his favorite pony, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. well, princess. <laughs> uh, he was sad. What? He was really? very, very sad. Yeah, because <laughs> it's kind of like head cannons ruined. <laughs> Aww. For goodness sake. Uh, a kick. But... Yeah. That, that is what happens when you have a waifu. Aww. And sadly she has someone else. It's like, yeah. aww. Hashtag alternative universe. My waifu, some of them are married, but I don't give up. I don't care. <laughs> Just put alternative universe, bang, my waifu. No yeah. one is there. <laughs> uh, but what yeah, about actually, you? I was mean to, sorry, I was, uh, sorry, Norman, I was just wondering, Astro, how are the um, waifus doing? Oh god. They're doing great. They're doing great. All on vacation as of now. Oh, oh, nice. Well. Are, are they with the beard in Hawaii, or have you sent them somewhere else for safekeeping? Of course. The beard of the Gavadi guard. Ah. <laughs> Alright. So, Kyle, okay, what do we think, man? I don't see a problem with it. I reckon it'd be interesting to do, particularly because I reckon it would make for some interesting uh, character development between her, Twilight, and Keynes and Luna, and Chen Armour, and seeing how that would develop. And the fact that I've seen like, a family get raised as well might actually provide an interesting dynamic to the show as well, although I could see Potentially predictable kidnap plot coming. Uh, I don't think so. You, you know <laughs> Dang what? Old. Yeah, but you know what? I want to see, like, this is just pure fantasy, but I just want to see Twilight's parents getting in a scuffle with Luna and Celestia just because they know more. They have two kids, while Celestia and Luna don't have any kids. They just rule a country <laughs> or a nation. Well, technically, Luna and Celestia, they have, um, um, a niece and, 
What is the, the, the boy thing? Yeah, nephew. Uh, prince is prince or whatever. His blue blood. Uh-huh. Yeah, prince blue blood. He's I a know, thing. But I, that's the thing with <laughs> royalty. It's like he's a thing. He's a thing. Yeah, I forgot. No. <laughs> yeah, he is a thing. <laughs> he's a thing, guys. Plot twist. <laughs> he exists. I cannot believe it. Yeah, he exists. And I think that's all the question we can handle for this week. Uh, CRC, I hope you like the answer we gave you because I think you caused a few scuffles between us. <laughs> scuffles? Yes. No, he created Fanor because guess who's going to draw Cadence <laughs> and Shining Armor having Rapunzel as their daughter? Oh, wow. You? Well, obviously hey, not because hey. I wasn't hired yet. <laughs> just, 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 uh, all right, then. But anyway. You can hire me as well. <laughs> So, but, get no banner, not banner with commissions. But before that, I need to say to the people, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show Twitter account is at MBS Show. Sweetie Bot will be tweeting about this episode, about stuff. If you tweet her, she will tweet you back. And you can also tweet me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And currently tickling my fancy is... Drum roll. Nothing. I got nothing in my head right now. Nothing's tickling in my fancy. What about you, Ro? You can find, also find me on the Twitters at Relicious underscore art, where I mostly retweet awesome webcomics from cool, awesome artists. MLP related and not. Or you can check out my DeviantArt at Relicious.DeviantArt.com for beards and waifus and jellyfish. Lots of jellyfish. Awesome, awesome. And Kyle, what about you, man? Well, you can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Kyle McCall, which is where I post uh, the various shows and wee little projects that I'm on about at the moment. And things that are tickling my fancy right now are the MBS show where I am right now and also uh, Creative Vibes, which is um, on the High on Bronies YouTube channel at YouTube.com forward slash High on Bronies, I believe. And we've just had our first episode up uh, interviewing Sketchy the Changeling. We had him on the show and we've got a great guest lined up for next week and a whole load of other episodes. So feel free to find us there. Oh, sketchy. How is he doing, man? Like, oh wait, you've done that a while back now. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, Creative Vibes, we have this strange shooting schedule, which has proven to be a continuous problem, where we recorded that episode of Sketchy back in August. It's gone out in January, and who knows what's happened in the middle, which just makes things an absolute nightmare. <laughs> hey, it's all okay, it's all okay. But anyway, Puff, where can they find you? Um, I, uh, before I say that, I need, I want to comment this. Um, the fun part is, is that I'm a fan of this podcast, but I work on the Creative Vibes Club podcast. And it's so fun to see the, uh, the upcoming guests. And the most fun is basically, it, it was me going, being confused. It's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean by that? Uh, the, the schedule. Oh. <laughs> It's literally, I think it's all over the place, for me, at least in my mind. I don't know who's worse for, you or me. You for having to do the art, uh, along with the rest of the art team trying to figure it out, or me as an interviewer trying to figure it out, how can I ask this question when the thing that I want to ask about it doesn't happen for two months, yet will be two months after the episode comes out? You have it worse, because we just draw OCs. <laughs> literally. <laughs> I think the best way for people to know from the creative vibes uh, point of view is to listen to this show because, well, Kai will talk about stuff and probably talk about behind the scenes story a bit. And it's an interesting insight into how you guys work because if I do understand right, you guys do a whole scheduling where it's set from month to month in advance and you guys just record and stockpile shows and edit them once they're out and do a weekly schedule unlike this show where it's every week and if news is boring and we got nothing to do we'll probably try to do something else yeah but you're forgetting the format of the show yeah. and also um i can give an insight of the arts team uh stuff which is <laughs> suddenly weirdly off it's it's really really quiet for some reason <laughs> Well, before you why. say anything else, make sure it's okay from the higher ups because we do not want anyone to get in trouble. But anyway, Puff, so where can they find you? You can find me on DeviantArt at um, com. I draw and stuff. 
Um, I also stream my art, and right now I'm working on Ruby, um, a painting for a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. It's a pony version of Ruby. Uh, it's a lovely show. Do check it out if you can. Uh, the first episode is kind of not my not my thing, but later on it gets it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Uh, it gets better. Um, what show are we talking Steven Universe or there's some other rubies? Ruby or U B Y? Yeah. The one from Rooster Teeth. And my streaming channel is uh, Picato TV slash Buffy Smosh. I am pretty much everywhere else on social media, but just just be aware most of the times when I'm on social media, it's like reblog, retweet. Share with friends. <laughs> okay, but anyway, I'll put it all in the show notes. The one that I think you want to be followed on. Anyway, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have a Facebook page. And you can also catch us on PonyWithLife.com. And you can also catch us on PonyWithLife.com. Links are going to be in the show notes. So I have been Norman Senzo. I'm Relicious Rhymes with Delicious. I've been Kyle McCall. And I've had uh, hijacked this show. Yes, hijacker extraordinaire. I should do this more often. Yeah, you should. But anyway, we'll see you guys next week with another fun fact show. And Buffy, why don't you take us out? No, that's Rom's job. I'm not ha- right hijacking Romu's job. <laughs> oh, okay, so, okay where do you want to go? <laughs> Chinese, <laughs> Japanese, sushi bar, Mexican? Quickly flies to. <laughs> you asked no, me to take you out. Pizza sounds nice. <laughs> I feel so left out here. I know. We can have our own food. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye. Put in the links to the. I'll I'll put it. I'll put the links into the. Mm, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's crank him out. Come on, we can you. get him here. Hang on, I'm yeah. gonna get a crank out. We're gonna get you ready, okay? We're gonna treat you like a Renault car from the 1950s, okay? <laughs> <laughs>